Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. To all of our distinguished guests, our VIPs, our global audience watching around the world, welcome back to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and specifically here in the capital of Riyadh. I'd like to thank you all for attending uh, this monumentous event and I'd like to thank the gentleman that made this all possible and hosting us here today the CEO and founder of Skill Challenge Entertainment and Skill Challenge Promotions, His Highness Prince Khalid bin Abdul Aziz. It's great to have everybody here. As you all know, Skill Challenge Promotions doesn't do anything mediocre. I always say we don't do different things, we just do things differently. It might not be better or worse, it's just different. And today is no different on that occasion. The signing that we have today, although now it is no secret as you see it, is one of the biggest names in the sport and arguably one of the best fighters in the history of boxing. Before we begin with that, I'd like to kind of go back and talk about Skill Challenge Entertainment and how it came to fruition. And Prince Khaled, if you don't mind, I would love to ask, give us a little bit of a history of Skill Challenge Entertainment, and in 2019, you launched with Clash of the Dunes, the rematch between Andy Ruiz and Anthony Joshua, kind of your vision and how this thing all came together. You know, uh, I love boxing from uh, when I was young. That's something established in me. But when I began, I wanted uh, the, to build the grassroots. That's uh, the most important thing for me. But when I met uh, the Minister of uh, Sports, Prince Abdul Aziz, he said, leave the grassroots and just bring me the biggest fight. And that's how it happened. And, and there was nothing short of that. In 2019, yeah. Prince Khaled, Skill Challenge Enterprises, uh, put on Entertainment Enterprises, hosted Clash of the Dunes, uh, Andrew Ruiz, Joshua. It was then followed by the second biggest rematch that we've seen in Anthony Joshua versus Alexander Usyk. And then most recently in February, we had The Truth featuring a hybrid card, Jake Paul versus Tommy Fury, and the co-feature, Badu Jack versus Ilunga Makabu. Prince Khaled, that was the history of Skill Challenge, and, and I know you're an avid boxing fan, because sometimes when I bring you fights, you kick me out of the office and you <laughs> say, bring me different fights. Mm. And I know the kind of fights that you love to put on. What does the future of Skill Challenge look like in hosting these kinds of fights? Oh, it's bright. You know, I can't say a lot of it, but uh, I can promise you it's something you never saw in history of boxing. will change the game. I can promise you will change the game. For everybody who loves bo boxing, who who's eager to see the fights who, and the, uh, the fights that they want to happen without politics. So uh, I can promise you it will change everything in boxing. When I was first, and I'll say a personal story if you allow me, Prince Khaled, when I first sat down with Prince Khaled, he told me some of the things that he was looking to do. And I said, that's just it's crazy. I don't think it can be done. He said, we're going to make it happen. And you're going to eat those words and you're going to see how we're going to actually bring this to fruition. And everything that he has said has come true. And when he's saying that he's going to change the sport of boxing, I'm telling you, it's going to change for the benefit of everybody. Skill Challenge Promotions, when it started, I was looking for a slogan and Prince Khaled said, don't worry, it'll come. We were sitting uh, at his home and he said, look, this promotion is going to be for the fighters and for the fans. And that's exactly what it has become. You know, one of the people that I need to thank is Omar, my partner, because he fought from day one with me. It, it was not an easy ride, but now it will be easy and we know how to do it right. Omar Nazar sitting Omar. front row, who has been a monumental part of the promotion as well and getting us to where we are today. Prince Khaled, if you allow me, I'd like to also introduce two of our signees that we have here in attendance, which we take tremendous pride in. Uh, Prince Khaled wanted to ensure and make sure that the very first signee that we had was an important one. And it surely was, as he's changed the landscape of what Saudi Arabian boxing is. As you heard Prince Khaled say, the grassroots of Saudi boxing 
and the, com the emergence of up and coming Saudi prospects is very important. Nobody fits that bill better than Saudi Arabian national, currently undefeated, Ziad Al Mayouf Zizo is here with us today. As you all see with our fighters, we fight them. And we fight them and we fight them heavy. Yeah. Uh, his first fight was on the uh, Usyk AJ card. His second fight was on the truth. And you saw Zizo got put down. But as a true champion, he got back up, not only finished the fight, but went to victory and won the fight convincingly. He showed the exact heart of what a champion is. He fought then in London right afterwards against a tough fight again. He's coming up the way that we want to bring him in nuts to make sure that these guys end up as champions as they are. So Zizo, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The next champ. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's somebody else here also. Yeah, yeah I think so. <laughs> A gentleman that is no stranger to the world of boxing, no stranger to us, no stranger to me personally. Um, one of the most recognized champions in boxing, fought eight world champions back to back, never shied away from a fight. When I bring resumes to Prince Khalid, he doesn't look at the boxing as much as he looks at the values of the person, the integrity of the person, the honor of the person. That's the most important. And that is exactly what it is built upon. And that's what led to our second signing. He won a world title at 168 pounds of super middleweight. He then won a world title at 175 pounds light heavyweight. And most recently, we had the pride of watching him win a third division world title at cruiserweight. Ladies and gentlemen, the one, the only, Badu Jack, the Ripper is here with us. Prince Khaled has some secrets up his sleeve that he will not share, <laughs> but there are some signees that we're going to be announcing also very soon. But that doesn't take away from the signee and why we're here today. We are introducing, in 2012, he won an Olympic gold medal, which in itself is a tremendous feat. And he won it at the heavyweight division. In 2018, he was nominated as the fighter of the year. In 2022, he was ranked as pound for pound the best active boxer in boxing. He is the former undisputed cruiserweight champion of the world holding the WBC, the WBA, the WBO, and the IBF world titles. He is currently the undefeated, unified WBA, WBO, IBF, IBO champion of the world, ladies and gentlemen, it is with tremendous pride and pleasure that I introduce to you the new assignee of Skill Challenge Promotions, Alexander Usyk. It was kept secret for a while, but now the secret is out of the bag. He is here. He is joined by his promoter from K2 Promotions, Alec Krusik at the very end, and his manager, who's been in the news quite a bit recently, Igas Klamaz. Welcome. A little bit. Thank you. <laughs> Again, sign signings like this are based more on just a boxing record, but his boxing record alone speaks leagues about how he is and who he is. Prince Khaled, what led you to the signing of Alexander? You know, I can put the boxing re record on the side. It's big. Everybody knows it. It's something uh, unparalleled. But the values. And uh, Alexander has values in life that uh, just said, let's sign him. It's, it's his values. He's, he's a man of his word. His team, the way we worked with them, uh, the, eth the work ethic they have, the team, the whole team. Uh, you know, it was so amazing that we said, let's go with uh, Alexander Osik because he's one of the top. Uh, now he's the top heavyweight chat. <laughs> uh, 
the team in itself, and I said, that, you know, the, the boxing business, it's no surprise, it's not an easy business. It's not always a straightforward business, but as Prince Khaled alluded to, a deal with Alexander Usyk, with Alex, with Igis can really be made on a handshake. Yeah. And Omar Nazar, you will agree, you, you've been around them quite a bit and you've seen they're of high integrity, high caliber people. And that's really what the promotion is built off of. The integrity, the values, and of course, the fact that you can fight a little bit. Yeah. And <laughs> Alexander checks all of those boxes. Champ, welcome back to the kingdom. How does it feel to be back? Uh, I really feel great and it's a great happiness and honor for me to come back to the kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Alex, I think we should ask this question and get the elephant out of the room at this stage in your career as a unified world champion. Um, you know, there's talks about an undisputed world title, but at this stage of your career, what does it mean to you to be signed with a new promotion and under the banner of Skill Challenge Promotions with Prince Khaled? Це це великі можливості для великих поєдинків, і я думаю, що ми з Принц Халідом зробимо величезний поєдинок, якого хоче весь світ. Але не хоче Тайсан Сюрі, але я думаю, що ми його затягнемо сюди. For me it's a great honor and uh, a great opportunity to bring the biggest fight of the history of boxing in heavyweight to the boxing fans of the whole world. And uh, this is the fight that is so wanted throughout the, the planet. And uh, with the help of God, with the help of Prince Khalid and of all our team, uh, we're gonna make it. Tyson Fury doesn't want this fight, <laughs> but we will make it. <laughs> The landscape of the heavyweight division is very, very entertaining and it is at its peak at this point as so many big names, so many big fights that are out there and of course tremendous is interest from Prince Khaled, Skill Challenge Promotions and of course the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Alexander, what are your short, short term, immediate and then longer term goals with Skill Challenge and with your career? Я хочу стати не так, я скажу. Ми йдемо до того, щоб стати абсолютними чемпіонами в крузервейті, а далі ми будемо планувати свої плани на дальні в хевівейті, на дострокові на подальші на подальшу роботу з Фрицем Халідом. So I'll tell you like this. Our goal and we are on the way to our goal is to become the undisputed heavyweight champion. After this, we will try to make plans for the future. Before now, this is the highest priority. Я в мене немає великих планів. В мене є шлях як у самурая. От я йду по ньому. I haven't got big plans like a samurai. I have the way the way I walk. <laughs> I love it. Alex, I'll turn it over to you. You have promoted Alexander throughout his career. You have seen his progression. You have seen where he is now. At this stage of his career, what does it mean to be signed with Skill Challenge Promotions under Prince Khaled? This is a story of a lifetime. We've joined our efforts with Alex after his winning the Olympic Games in 2012, we signed in 2013, and since his first fight, we've been doing things together. Now, we are on the top, couple steps from, from making the history. The history is that this gentleman has become the undisputed cruiserweight champion of the world. The fourth, in the history of boxing to unite four belts. 
unify four belts. And now he's trying, he's moving, and we are all helping him to complete something extraordinary, to get those four belts in the heavyweight division. It means that with the help of God, when the big fight, when the big event, like it's everywhere now talked in the world, takes place, it means that all the rest stands in the history and we are making the history. So it means that this is history in the making. Ще в 2018 році ми повинні були боксувати в Саудівській Аравії за абсолютне за всі пояси в Крузервейті, але деякі люди обдурили багато людей в світі. І зараз, я думаю, що ми зробимо абсолют, але вже в хевівейті. In 2018 we were supposed to fight in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia for the undisputed Cruiserweight Championship. But some people cheated the whole world. But now we will use this chance, but in heavyweight division already, yes. with the help of God. As the director of boxing operations for Skill Challenge Promotions, Alex, I can say to you with utmost confidence, when you have the power and the word of Prince Khaled behind you, anything is possible. I'll turn it over here to my friend, my longtime friend, um, and, and I try not to be biased, but arguably one of the best managers in the sport. And if you look at the elite champions and even the up and coming prospects, they're all under the banner of this gentleman here. Igis is a man of his word. He gets his fighters the best opportunities. He's a great businessman. And I have the privilege of dealing with him, uh, not just through Alexander, but several other of his athletes as well. First of all, Igis, welcome back to the country. Thank you, thank you very much. I wanted to uh, thank uh, Kingdom of Saudi Arabia bringing us back. I wanted to thank Prince Khalid doing all of this, gathering us together and looking for the future of boxing. Uh, boxing world really needs some promotions like a skill, skill challenge. And they need a people like a Prince Khalid who is a love in the sport. And it's honor for me to bring one of my best fighters, Alexander Usyk, to Skin Challenge and uh, sign them a couple of fight deals. Thank you, Igis. I wanted to thank my friend, Amir, as well. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. I... <laughs> how has it been, how does it work? How is, what is it like working with Alexander and managing him? I mean, you have a great promoter in uh, Alex, but for Alexander himself, what is it like working with a champion of that caliber? Well, it doesn't even feel like uh, you're working. Is, I, I couldn't say it's a work. It's a relationship. It's, uh, it's, uh, we're so close, like, uh, like a brothers, like a father and a son. Uh, I have like a best friend. It's, uh, I don't feel anything like uh, my mom used to say when I was a kid, if you find a job what you like, you don't feel like working. I don't feel it's as a work. This is, this, is, this is a pleasure to be around. Thank you, Igis. It's a pleasure to work with you. We look forward to working with you. We look forward to working with you, with Alex, and of course with the champ, and deliver some big fights. So, I want to thank, it's not me only, or Omar, or you only, that did all this. It's the SCE team. I can't thank them enough. You know, they always do the best and they do more than I, I thought they can. Thank you all. I've been around the sport for quite a while and I will tell you there's something very special here in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia with this team, with this leadership and with, he gets mad at me when I say vision, with the mission of <laughs> Prince Khaled. Uh, as a military man, uh, it's all missions and everything runs as a mission. And this mission of delivering boxing for the fighters and for the fans, I will say, I said it before and I'll say it again, will be unprecedented. And with that, thank you. And with that, let's make it official. Champ, the paperwork in front of you, Prince Khaled, if you could hand it over to him. Thank you. 
Excuse me, can I read it? No. no. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> Prince Khaled? Just for the record, they read it before. <laughs> it is now official. Alexander Usyk, the newest member of the Skill Challenge promotion family. Ladies and gentlemen, all of our distinguished guests, thank you very much for your attendance. Thank you very much for your support. To all of the global media, to all of our fans around the world, thank you all so much for your support. We are just getting started. That wraps up this press conference and the official signing of Alexander Usyk. Thank you all very much. Have a great night. Everybody. Thank you. Woo!